Let's write the structural formula for 2-methylpropene. You'll also see this called isobutylene or 2-methylprop1-ene. Both 2-methylpropene and isobutylene are very common. 2-methylprop1-ene is the actual IUPAC name. So let's draw the structure. So we have ENE -E on the end here. ENE, -E, that means we have an alkane, and we're going to have this double bond. It'll be carbon atoms double bonded. Prop, when you see prop, that means three. So we're going to have three carbon atoms. There's going to be a double bond. Let's put a chain of three carbon atoms up there with a double bond. So we have the three carbon atoms, and let's just put a double bond right here. That does mean that we'll need to get rid of one of these because each carbon atom has four bonds. One, two, three, four, one, two, and one of these here because each carbon does need four bonds. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is propene, and we could have put it on either side. It really doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Let's number each of the carbons. And on the second carbon, we put our methyl group. So a methyl group, that's just CH3, a carbon with three hydrogens. So we're going to put that on the second carbon here. And remember, each carbon can only have four bonds. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So let's get rid of this here. And now this is the structure for 2-methylpropene. We have our three carbons with a double bond. That's the propene. On the second carbon, we put our methyl group. And we made sure that each carbon only had four bonds. And for each of these lines, you could put a hydrogen atom in, although it's understood that they're there. Let's look at it in three dimensions real quick. So the blacks are the carbons, the whites are hydrogens, and you can see the double bond right there. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 2-methylpropene, also called isobutylene, or 2-methylprop1-ene. If you wanted to write the actual molecular formula, that would be C4H8. Thanks for watching.